I've asked, I've answered a, a number from you, sir. Okay. One more. Is there any protection whatsoever for protected wetlands and state land gaming? Um, and around that area, a buffer zone, or anything to protect wildlife at all, and, and like lakes and wetlands. There are protections for certain. Um, I'm asking him a question. Excuse they'll me. They'll tell you what to do. I'm asking him a question. There are protections for certain water bodies, but my my wife knows the guys inside now. I don't. We divvy up responsibilities, um, but I just don't know the answer. But what I do know is that every single water body protection that is in there, every single one, as I said before, is, is by definition temporary. Anywhere from one to three years. So even if there is something for a particular water body, it's, you know, they're going to look at it again and let these guys in. Is there anything we can do, like, as a community around the protected wetland and state game land? I don't know about, no. I don't know about state stuff. Okay. If, you, if you do a moratorium, yeah. Then one of the things that some people do, many people do, when I say people, municipality, um, they look at aquifer protection, they do, they they map wetlands, they do uh, uh, critical environmental areas. Those are all things that can be done, with the exception of aquifer mapping, which costs a fair amount of money and takes a lot of time. Most people have to get a grant from the USGS to do that, and that you can't do in 12 months. Um, but everything else you can do, you know, and we've worked with, people, with communities that have done that within 12 months. People, some people form a committee, and as long it's like anything else, you put somebody on it who cares about it, and they get it done. Okay. 